Okay, guys, here goes a fun problem they like to get at Tom's. Okay, so here's here's a picture. It's a graph. It's straight line, straight line, and some kind of curve. It's a graph of that. Please know what it's a graph of. Circle it. Think of it. You know, name your first child after whatever. It's a graph of that. It's not a graph of that. It's prime ref, double prime ref, that, that. It's a graph of that. Okay, they're telling you it's a continuous function. That means there's no breaks here. Okay. Um, it's defined linear interval negative 6 to 5. That troubles me a little bit because this doesn't go to negative 6, but okay. Figure above shows a portion of the graph of that consisting of two line segments. Okay, so now they're telling you they are definitely lines. They're straight lines, okay? And a quarter of a circle. Quarter circle, okay? So I'm on a non calculated section. I can find the area of a circle. Center at the point 5, 3. So here's the center of the circle. That's the center of the circle. Okay, sometimes it's helpful to draw things. Uh, it's known that the point, so this point right here, that point right there is 3 comma 3 minus root 5. That's kind of odd. Okay, but they told me it. All right, so what do they want? Okay, they're telling me the integral from negative 6 to 5 of the function equals 7. So guys, this is telling me the area under the curve from negative 2 to 6 is equal to 7. Oops, sorry. Not negative 2 to 6. It is negative 6 to 5. So they're telling me that area equals that, and they want to know just a little bit of it. So they want to know the integral from negative 6 to negative 2. They want to know the integral from where the curve doesn't exist in this graph, okay? So, A. Um, I know the integral from negative 6 to 5 of f of x dx equals 7. That equals negative 6 to negative 2 f of x dx. That's what I'm trying to find. Plus the integral from negative 2 to 5 of f of x dx. So guys, this is the area of curve shown. Okay? So guys, if I go up here and I look, I need the area under this curve. So, look, this area and this area are equal and opposite. They cancel each other out. There's a couple ways you can do this. This is one way I'm doing it, okay? Um, this area here and this area there, um, they're equal and opposite because you see the slope is 1, 2 over 1, so the slope is 2 over 1, so it cuts here at 1 half. They're equal, they wipe each other out. So guys, what I'm left with is I'm left with this. I need that area. Okay? Well, here's one block. Each block is 1 by 1, so that's got an area of 1. And then this, guys, this area missing that little piece there that's the same as this so these two combined together give me one so guys this is seven equals negative six to negative two f of x dx plus two that's the area the area from negative two up to two is two cancel cancel these are equal so it gives me two so then i need this area here okay that area that area, it's this big area. It's the area of that figure subtracted that, that which is a quarter of a circle. So that's plus three times three. That's the area of this big square. One, two, three by one, two, three minus uh, a quarter because it's a quarter of a circle. The radius of the circle is three. One quarter pi r squared, three squared. So guys, I'm going to be in the seven equals integral from negative six to negative two f of x dx. The thing I'm trying to find is plus two plus uh, nine minus nine fourths pi. So if I rearrange things, what they're looking for, negative six to negative two f of x dx equals, and okay, that's 11, 7 minus 11 
negative 4, and that's going to be a side plus plus, plus 9 fourths pi. That's the answer to part A. It was cute. It was a little bit long. Okay, part B. They want the integral from 3 to 5 of 2 f prime of x plus 4 dx. That's what they're looking for. Guys, if you see a derivative inside an integral, you should be thinking fundamental theorem of calculus. They're inverses of each other. I'm going to break this up a little bit. 3 to 5 f prime of x dx. Okay, I just factored the 2 out. So I've got the integral from 3 to 5 of f prime of x dx plus the integral from 3 to 5 of 4 dx. That's a constant. Okay, fundamental theorem of calculus, the integral of the derivative is the function. So that's going to get me 2 f of 5 minus f of 3, okay, plus um, plus 4 times 5 minus 3. Okay? So, I need f of 5. f of 5, if I look up here, this is a graph of f, that's f of 5. f of 5 is 0. Minus f of 3, oh, rats, that's a weird looking point, but oh look, they gave it to me. Minus 3 minus root 5 plus 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, okay? So guys, if I combine my terms, I get uh, um, I get 8 minus 6 plus 2 root 5, so I get 2 plus 2 root 5 should be the answer, and it is. Um, they give you two points for that, I can see, guys. So just taking an integral, uh, no baby, all right? Let's see what part C is all about. Okay, part C. The function g is given by this. Okay, so that means um, g of negative 2 equals 0. Because that's where it starts. Okay, so g is the integral of f. And it's equal to 0 when, x, when time equals negative 2. Find the absolute max of g on the interval negative 2 to 5. Okay, so guys, must look at value of g at critical points and end points. Okay, that's what I'm going to need to do. I need to look at it at the critical points and the end points. Guys, this is up to eight minutes. It's going to take me a little bit longer to do this. So I'm going to stop it here and I will pick this up next video.